In this video, we will learn addition and subtraction of rational expressions. When we have two arithmetic fractions, such as 3 over 8 plus 2 over 8, they have a common denominator, which is 8. So we write like this, 3 plus 2 over 8, and the answer will be 5 over 8, right? This is for addition. And for subtraction, we have the similar way, 5 over 7 minus 1 over 7. That is nothing but 5 minus 1 over 7, which is the common denominator. And we get 4 over 7. So, same way with algebraic expressions. We solve this such as, we have 3 over x plus 2 plus x minus 4 over x plus 2. As you can see, x plus 2 and x plus 2, this is a common denominator. So, we will write such as x plus 2 and the numerator which is 3 plus x minus 4. Now, we will solve this. We have x here. Okay, 3 minus 4, that is negative 1 over x plus 2. This is our answer for this one. Similarly, let's take a look at different example. We have 3x plus 5 over x minus 3 minus 2x over x minus 3. Again, we will write first the common denominator, which is x minus 3. And then we will write 3x plus 5, the negative sign in the middle, and then 2x. So this gets 3x minus 2x, we have x plus 5 over x minus 3. This seems very easy, but we have to move to the complex problems step by step. Let's say we have 2x square plus 5 over x plus 3 plus 6x minus 5 over x plus 3. Now, we will write the common denominator as x plus 3 and the numerator 2x square plus 5 plus 6x minus 5. And you can see negative 5 and positive 5 cancels. And then for 2x and 6x, we can take 2x as common. Inside will be x plus 3 over x plus 3. These two gets cancelled and we are left with 2x as our answer. So make sure you practice enough. As you can see, we are stepping up. So let's take a look at the next problem. We have x square plus 3x minus 2 over x plus 5 times x minus 2 then we have a positive sign and we have 4x plus 12 over x plus 5 times x minus 2 don't get confused with so many different variables remember this is the same common denominator okay so now we will write the denominator first which is the common one x plus 5 times x minus 2. So what is the numerator? A lot of students make a mistake and start to factor over here or take common 4 over here. Don't do that mistake. First write everything and then we will simplify and factor later. So we have x square plus 3x minus 2 plus 4x plus 12 and now we can simplify it. So we have x square, 3x and 4x, we get plus 7x minus 2 and 12, we get plus 10. And now our denominator, which is x plus 5 times x plus 2. And now we can take a factor for the numerator. We need two numbers that we multiply and we get positive 10 and the sum will be 7. And that number is 5 times 2, we get 10. And 5 plus 2, we get 7. So the numerator factor will be x plus 5. This is 5, one number. Another one is x plus 2 over x plus 
5 times x plus 2. As you can see, these everything gets cancelled and we are left with 1, which is our answer. Okay. And now, we will take a little look at one more problem with the subtraction. Let's say we have x square minus 2x plus 3 over x square plus 7x plus 12 subtracting with x square minus 4x minus 5 over x square plus 7x plus 12. As you can see this is a common denominator so we will write this first. We have x square plus 7x plus 12. We will factor this in our next step and the numerator is x square minus 2x plus 3 and remember this negative sign is being multiplied over here so we get minus x square this minus sign and minus remember negative sign negative we get a positive sign so this will become plus 4x and plus 5 for the last one as well now we can take factor for the denominator 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 plus 3 is 7 so the factor for the denominator will be x plus 4 times x plus 3 okay and for the numerator we can subtract x square and negative x square and then we have negative 2x plus 4x we get 2x 3 and 5 we get 8 as our answer okay and now we can take 2 as common you take 2 inside will be x plus 4 over x plus 4 times x plus 3 we cancel and the final answer we get 2 over x plus 3 okay further more complex problems we will take a look at tomorrow video so don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you bye bye